Kia ora koutou everybody, welcome to day 6 of our level 4 lockdown. Uh, today our PM is going to be announcing at 4pm if we're going to be in lockdown any further, so uh, watch out for that announcement. It's a beautiful day outside, so there'll be lots of walking going on and playing outside, so that's really neat for us as we um, enter into a possibly another week of lockdown here in Auckland. Um, the answer to our riddle last week, why was the man's hair not getting wet? Because he was bald. That's why he had no hair, so there was no um, way his hair could get wet because he had none. So uh, the answer to our uh, maths last week was all about pizza, remember? Um, how many slices da, 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 the answer is? And remember there was a health, um, a safety notice here, you should never rush your food. However, the answer was 21 slices. So two people ate 21 slices of pizza, which seems amazing, doesn't it? So that's our uh, maths uh, problem from last Friday. The riddle today is, you see me once in June, twice in November, but not at all in May. What am I? You see me once in June, twice in November, but not at all in May. What am I? So that's the riddle today, and you can email it through. And you can also, if you're really, really smart or thinking that you're onto it, you can also email me through your, this really hard one. Mrs. Wood is thinking of a mystery number. If she divides it by nine and then subtracts seven from it, the result is one. What is Mrs. Wood's mystery number? So you can take a screenshot of that if you wish. And listen, here's something I'm going to be doing today, and hopefully we can make a book out of it. Remember last lockdown we made a cooking book? Well, this time I thought our whole community could make another book, and it's using something that we probably have lots of. It's been in the news a lot, but I want you to have a look at this. I was pretty bored in the weekend, and I came up with this idea. How about as a whole community we try and upload photos onto our Padlet on our HQ Learning site with these. Here we go. There we are. So we are going to make some toilet roll people. Look at that. So there's one there. And my daughter Charlotte made one. And that's my one. That guy's a bit angry, isn't it? And he's got hair, which is possibly not Mr. Pepper. But there we go. I even got so bored that I made a little bedroom for them. So all you need is you need some glue if you've got some, sellotape if you've got some, scissors, a good old toilet roll, and you can use a glad wrap inner if you are worried about the toilet roll. You can just cut it in half. And then all I do is I got a piece of A4 and I just fold it in half, cut it, and it fits perfectly around the... Uh, if you uh, sellotape down the side there, it fits perfectly around as you go on this side here. What you do before you roll it and sellotape or glue it on is you draw your picture in the center, and that centers the face. Okay, that centers the face, and then you can put together your person. Hey, listen, as soon as you've done your people, upload them to the Padlet, and we can try and start putting together our book. So have fun with that. You could possibly get your mum or dad or someone at home to make their own one as well, or even your brothers and sisters can make one. So um, have fun, and I can't wait to see your amazing designs. Some of you, if you're really, really onto it, could actually draw your teachers and make a little toilet roll person of your teacher. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Have a great day to everybody. Look after yourselves. Look after people at home, and um, I'm sure we'll get through this all um, in the next week or so. Take care. God bless.